Hospitalizations are the highest we've seen since June, and some are wondering right now what impact this could have on phase three, which is supposed to happen coming up on Thursday. Yeah, just a few days away now. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live now with those answers. Matthew. Yeah, Aaron and Mark, where we stand right now will not have an impact on phase three, and this is why. Yes, we are seeing an uptick, and while this is concerning, the need to roll back isn't there just yet because the infection rate in our state is still quite low. Now, the governor showed this slide comparing Connecticut's 1.64% positivity rate compared to the rest of the nation. Now, Connecticut is the highest in the Northeast, but below the national average of 4.6% and well below the hot spots like South Dakota, Wisconsin, Idaho, and more. So it's because we're still in this spot that phase three can reopen on Thursday, but the governor says we need to stay in this range to be able to keep our state open. There's no absolute number, um, but uh, I see the re rapidity of how fast it changes. And if you get to four or five percent, you know, you got to reconsider what's going on if that happens quickly. Now, if you were watching live at four, you saw Governor Lamont do this daily briefing solo. He says that was out of an abundance of caution. In fact, he says testing will be done for his staff twice a week. And prior to that, the governor says he was getting tested every two or three weeks for the last several months. That's the latest live here at the digital desk tonight. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.